Our goal, everybody that was around us had the same goal. The only goal we want to have is a good Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly so right. that's what we did. Yeah. Hello, family. <laughs> hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to All Things Peggy with my special guest, The Don. The Don. The Don. <laughs> family, I am so, 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 so sorry that we did not get a chance to record while we were in St. Louis. Mm. While it was my intent <laughs> to bring you all along the whole ride, like that would have been some great content. Mm. But things just trickled down for us yeah. and it, it's like it went from bad to worse, from worse to worse to worse. And yeah. I was just like, I'm going to ignore it and we're just going to keep it moving. So that's go. what we did. So uh, do you want to start or you want me to start? Oh, well, I can, I can touch on a little bit. We've already told okay. them about how the drive was like up there because we did post a video about the drive up there yes. and stuff. And we did post a little video about the hotel. Maybe we didn't share everything, but the hotel was terrible. Yeah. Um, it, it was pretty clean when we first got in there, but the beds that we had in there, mine was bad, Piggy was worse, there was no support whatsoever. We left a very bad review on the hotel. I'm not going to say the name of the hotel, but they, yeah, they, they should not be as highly rated as they were. The St. Louis Hilton Hotel at the airport. Because <laughs> they need to know. The, the Hilton Hotel at the St. Louis airport. Yeah, it, it was like that. And, the, and we was there for a few days and we never had rooms, made service, cleaning service at all. And we specifically, you had, to, you had to actually request it. We requested it. It didn't happen. They apologized for it. It didn't happen. They said to make sure you get the next morning. And then they didn't. So we never had it. We did get some towels when we asked for them specifically. And so was able to take our showers and we had our sheets changed. But yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that so that's, that, was, that, that the, the hotel he he's putting it lightly with the hotel. <laughs> like we're waking up to dogs barking at six o'clock in the morning, stuff like that. So it was very inconvenient. But however, we won't stop there. There you go. We're not gonna get stuck there. So we're gonna we had a good trip though. Yeah. Because my Kobe, we got a chance to see Kobe <laughs> on Thursday. That and was I was so excited, like I wanted to record all of this, but let, let's just say before Kobe came, my brother came and I haven't seen my brother probably four years, yeah. maybe. Him and I are just a year apart, mm -hmm. but he lives in Dallas and I, you know, I'm all over the place, <laughs> but I haven't physically been in the same room with him for about four years. I have talked to him on the phone here and there, nothing, you know, big, but yeah. So he was there and his daughter was there. It was good to see her too. I hadn't seen, I probably, God, Lee, I probably hadn't seen her in probably years. It was really, really good to see her. Yeah. Morgan, if you out there, hey. All right, so then um, people just started coming in that had not seen me in a while. What started out as just a Thanksgiving gathering for me and my children and Cameron and Trey, right? It ended up being about 19 people. 19 people. It went from nine to 19 like from that. Just, it, now we're not complaining about it. Yeah, we just wasn't but ready. I wasn't ready because I thought everybody was going to do their own thing. Like that's what everybody had agreed mm. to. Like this is just not the year. You know, COVID's still around. Everything else, but every everybody's vaccinated. Everybody's almost boosted up and everything else. So I felt good about it. Like at one point, I was like, if one more person come in this house, I'm gonna pull out the, the thermostat and check the temperatures in these head. But it was good because, like I say. I hadn't seen people in a long time and my phone was still ringing. Can I come by? Can yeah. I come by? Anyway, we hit way more people than we imagined. We hit a house full and I was like, oh, good. Now I can walk around. I can introduce the fam, my y'all, my family to my blood relatives, yeah. right? But it was so loud and so many people <laughs> and 
a lot of inappropriate words being there said and screaming and I was just like I could not get I could <laughs> I tried to wrangle them in but I could not no. I could not and I'm just like okay so we weren't prepared for this and I'm just Donald and I are looking at each other and I'm just like we don't have our footage we no, don't have our I footage know. for our video so Donald snuck in some pieces because I like Cameron and Trey like their mom had car trouble so we had to go get them and bring them over and then when I went and got the turkey from my son's house oh man it was it frozen, was frozen. <laughs> we we told him the way up. We should sure take it out and everything. But no, so, but the thing is, like, he took it out on Monday, like I asked him to, and he put it at the bottom. And he had been checking it, but at no point did he tell me it was still frozen because if he had told me that, I would have told him to take it out. But it was just a communication problem. No big deal, right? Yeah. Like, for real, no big deal. So... We get there, we see Kobe, we hug him, we kiss him. And I was like, don't record him yet. We'll get him at the house. So we go get Cameron Trey, take them to breakfast. We we get back to the house and we're about to cook, right? Mm -hmm. So I told Donald, I was like, in our preps, we have turkey legs. Because, you know, we have those two deep yeah. freezers. We have turkey legs. They will thaw out faster than this turkey. Yeah. So he went and he grabbed a pack of turkey legs out so I was able to get that done because we were started like really early in the morning, right? Yeah. And so then the refrigerator went out. The refrigerator went out. <laughs> I'm telling you, like you can't make this stuff up. The refrigerator went out. So we, we may do as best we could. Yeah. Like we were just, we were champs. Like Donald and my son Tim and my two daughters, Portia, in the beginning, were helping out so much that you didn't really feel all the inconveniences that we had. Yeah. But you know what? Nobody, and I thank God that nobody focused on the bad, and we just kept looking forward. Yeah. Like, we kept setting our sights. We're going to have a good Thanksgiving. We're just going to have a good Thanksgiving, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we did. Our goal, everybody that was around us had the same goal. The only goal we want to have is a good Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly so right. that's what we did. Yeah. So we started pulling our resources together. So Donald, we didn't got the turkey legs and they're thawed out. But in the meantime, the day before, which was that Wednesday, I came in and I cooked all my cakes. I made a seven up cake. I made a rum cake. I made a gooey <laughs> butter cake. And I'm like, that's all we can do because I couldn't make a sweet potato pie and I couldn't make pies because the refrigerator is out. Exactly. So I was like, okay, we won't worry about that. So we did the pies and I'm like, okay, we left pretty early. But while I was baking the cakes, Donald and my son was doing the storage, yeah. doing the storage unit. Yeah. Like they were getting that storage unit cleaned out. They was coming in, making trips back and forth. Like we had to, we didn't have but a few days, so we had to get everything done. Our goal was to have a good Thanksgiving, but in the meantime, we got to clear out that storage, right? Yeah. So that's what we did. There was a lot more in that story than I anticipated. I'm going to show yeah. you right here. We just went inside there and looked at everything, but after, me and Tim, we made like three trips and we got everything back to the house. So some stuff we brought back with us here into Savannah so we could set up our uh, prep uh, pantry here. Yes. And some stuff we left there for the kids that have a prep pantry. So it was a pretty good division and stuff like that. I know the story is all over the place, but we have to go back in June and really shut down the place. Yeah. Like shut it, shut it down. So right now we're just using some basement storage of yeah. my children. So when we go back, like we'll get the big thing right but anyway um so we got the baked goods done the next morning so i'm in there cooking and i'm just like no refrigerator you have to be careful what you cook because using eggs and milk you know dairy and so some stuff just couldn't be put in the refrigerator so i ended up making i did do uh the turkey legs with dressing i did do macaroni and cheese i did uh fettuccine. Mm -hmm. I did fried corn. Sweet potato cobbler. Sweet potato cobbler. Collard greens. I did collard greens potato salad. Yeah. Now the only reason why I did the potato salad because I knew the potato salad would be gone that day because yeah. my children love potato salad. Yeah. So that's why I did the potato salad. Yeah. So that was what and then I did green beans with um 
little chunks of potato in it. Yeah. That's everything, right? Yeah, I think so. I didn't cook that much this time. <laughs> Normally, I have like four or five different meats and stuff like that, but I didn't. And I was like, this is just small. We'll make up for for Christmas when we, you know, the refrigerator's working and everything else. So. That food went over like a house of fire. Well, first, like I said, my brother came in. Yeah. And my <laughs> nieces and nephews. So it started, it went from nine to 11 to 14 to 16 to 19. And I'm still cooking. So I finally get, get the dressing out of the oven. And I'm like, listen, we have to pray. Before oh, we eat, <laughs> that sounds know? so easy. It, it sounds easy, right? Yeah, let's it get sounds together and pray. Easy. Try getting 19 people who haven't seen each other in years. It's like herding cats. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to herd cats, boy. Oh, my goodness. And everybody's still laughing and stuff. Come on, y'all. Come on. Everybody get together. Get it together. It was And hilarious. at one point, because, like, I, I'm serious with my prayer life. Yeah, I, I don't play point. with God yeah. at all. Like, I, I'm serious with my prayer life. And so we had some snickering. And I said, <laughs> Donald. Stop praying. Yeah, stop. Right yeah. now. Yeah. I was like, look, y'all could go back to being silly and having fun. I'm not trying to stop that. But when we pray, we exactly. have to be serious. Yeah. And so we started, and of course, we got a few more Snickers, but I was like, you know what? We just not going to eat today. <laughs> yeah. we just don't let it go. So I'm like, okay. I'm like, they couldn't even give us two minutes to pray. <laughs> but so Donald pray, and then... We eat. Now, before we eat, my brother is screaming to the top of his lungs, I'm starving. <laughs> I've been to two houses. There's no food ready. I'm like, but it's really called Thanksgiving dinner. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to eat Thanksgiving at dinner time. Mm -hmm. Now, I thought eating it at 4 o'clock was reasonable. No, everybody was hungry. Even my sons, mom, Harry, up here, everybody's rushing me. So you know what I did? I said, you know what? Y'all could just eat in shifts. Whatever comes out. That's what y'all eat. Exactly. There wasn't so, no pretty table set up. There wasn't no nah. pretty table set up. <laughs> yeah. Donald tried. I like I had every I was trying to make everything nice and pretty and everybody can go around. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, none of that. When the fettuccine was done, my brother was like, Give me the fettuccine. Give me, a plate of fr of a give me the fettuccine. Fred, he called it Freddy. He called it Freddy. <laughs> he said, some give reason. me some of that Freddy. So he's <laughs> eating the Freddy. And it was just like wild. Okay, so then I made like everybody's full at this point and so Donald's going around and then my Kobe right so my Kobe he finally gets there and you know he he doesn't want anybody to really touch him because he don't know anybody yeah. so I tried to kiss him and he kept going back like this and my son was cracking yeah. up because he was like mom I've never seen him do that before and he was just, every time I tried to give him a little kiss on the cheek because you know you can't kiss him on the lip or I try to kiss him on the forehead he, he wouldn't look at me. He was looking straight ahead and trying, I'm trying to kiss him. And he was just like, he did not want that kiss. And so I just thought it was funny. Yeah. And so anyway, my son gave him some dressing. That was the hit. Boy. When I tell you, he caught the Holy Ghost. His arms came up. I mean, he had his arms out like, yes, this is what I've like, been waiting for. I've been waiting on this for my whole yeah. 11 and a half months of living. I want this dressing. I wanted this dressing. Yeah. So he got the dressing and he was just happy and he was bouncing. And then he let me kiss him. Yeah, they had a good day. <laughs> had a good time after that and then one young lady was like is that a gooey butter cake i say oh. it sure is i say let me just cut it and i'm cutting it like pretty nice slices because i'm like nobody's gonna eat it when i tell you when i lifted her that gooey butter cake and gave it to her I turned around to wash a cup out and when I turned back around that cake was gone gone I did not get any. He didn't get to taste it. Cake. That was so, crazy. So anyway, he didn't get any other gooey butter cake. So what do I do? I start baking another Started one. Started baking another one. It doesn't take long. It, it makes up pretty fast. Mm -hmm. So I put another one in and everybody's waiting. They're like, okay, so this time we're going to make sure we get enough and everything. Right. And I'm just like, okay, that prepper's pantry came in handy. Mm -hmm. So... I'm making another gooey butter cake. It comes out of the oven. It's hot, nice and hot. And so my niece walks over and she was like, 
that cake been out of the oven for about 10 minutes now? I say, yeah, but it, you know, it needs to set because, yeah. you know, if you yeah. don't think about a gooey butter cake, if you cut it too quick, it, it's kind of, you know, it'll crumble on you. Yeah. Well, not crumble, but it'll just fall apart because it's, you know, cake. Yeah. When I tell you they gave that cake maybe 15 minutes to cool off and then it was gone. Yeah. It makes you feel good. You know, you want people to like what you cook and like what yeah. you present and stuff like that. But it was just too much. You you know how you have this certain family member uh, who making spaghetti. Because I know my auntie Cookie makes the best spaghetti. So when Cookie brings her spaghetti, everybody's flocking to it. So I have about eight things that the family loves and gooey butter cake and fettuccine or the two things and stuffing. and stuffing and they leave fast i had to make more stuffing yeah that she had to make, she had to make more fettuccine more stuffing and, I an, did. and another gooey butter cake <laughs> so after she now, now for those of y'all who know peggy's back was hurting this whole trip yes she was like I don't know, Thanksgiving is her time to shine or whatever else it is. So even though <laughs> even though her back was hurting, she stayed in that kitchen, finished up this huge meal that turned out to be for 19 people, and then cooked more stuff after yeah. the fact. Yeah, but you know what? And I'm, I'm going to be honest. I enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Like, I, I, that's my love language. Mm -hmm. I like to serve people, and I like to, I like to see people happy. And if my food makes somebody happy, well, doggone it, be happy. And go. so I just enjoyed every minute of it. I really did. Like, I did. And yeah. the next day, my daughter was like, so what you cooking today, Mom? Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> do y'all have any leftovers? I know. They had a few leftovers. They had a little bit of mac and cheese, and then they had a little bit. They had very little stuffing. dressing. They yeah, had a little, little bit of dressing. Now. I don't know what they call it, stuffing or dressing. Yeah, it, it's the same thing. Same but thing. anyway, so that we had a little bit of that left, and they ate that. And she was like, okay, so again, what are you cooking, Mom? And I'm <laughs> like, I don't know. And she was like, I'm going to the store today to get the stuff for muscacholi. I want you to make muscacholi. And I was just like, Lord, I don't want to. I don't want to make muscacholi. But I will. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, like, tired. Mm -hmm. Because we got up. Four o'clock, you know, Donald and I are early birds anyway. Yeah. So, you know, being woke up by the dogs at the hotel, they just woke <laughs> us up even earlier. So we kept getting early starts every day. Yeah. And so Thanksgiving to me was a success. It to was. me, even though we didn't capture the moment because there were so many great moments that I wanted to share with you guys, but we were caught up in the moment. And that's what Thanksgiving should be about. Mm -hmm. it should be about family. It should be about you know, just embracing the moment. Yeah. Just enjoying the moment. So yeah. we didn't do the work and we I, I feel bad because I told Donald, I'm like, you know, we're doing this YouTube thing and we're trying to grow our channel. Yeah. And we missed our opportunity. Yeah. And I kind of felt bad about it because I was watching other people's Thanksgiving videos and stuff like that. And you don't do it for that, but you do do it for that because I want y'all to get to really know us yeah. and know our family and stuff like that. Like I wanted to go around the room and introduce everybody and stuff, but I couldn't because it was an F-bomb here and a <laughs> scream here yeah. and a, a kid crying here. And it just never, never panned out. And I just felt so bad. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't know what to do because we missed our opportunity, but it's okay. It was, it we was had good a, Thanksgiving. With all the things that were coming down, we still had a good time. And when I tell you my back was on fire oh Thursday goodness. night, and I, I was not looking forward to sleeping in that hotel again because the bed was really just killing my back. Yeah. But anyway... Uh, took my medicine, everything else, and, you know, woke up the next morning, and shockingly, my back felt a little better. Yeah. She found a good angle to kind of yeah. lay on and stuff like that, so that made it a little bit better, but it yeah. was still just a horrible hotel experience. Yeah, so we, you know, like I say, airport. we're not we're not going to focus on the, focus the bad. On there you go. We, we're just going to focus on the good, and the good was I got to see my brother and my niece that I hadn't seen for years. We, everybody came together and it was just a good time.
So Tim and his daughter decided to go ahead and start putting out some of the Christmas decorations yes. on, on Thanksgiving Day. So I got a little bit of them putting the tree together, and they brought out some of Peggy's old decorations. Peggy still has so much decoration oh there. Oh my god! But they were trying their best to try to do, try to put something together, and it came out looking really nice. And so the, the Christmas spirit was immediately there. Yes. Thanksgiving Day wasn't over yet. Yeah. But the Christmas was already the Christmas, Christmas holiday was season already there. was already starting. And it, so that it was, was cool. It was a look. This has been. I'm telling you, this that was my best experience ever. Yeah. Well, it was it was because like, it reminded me of growing up. I tell you guys all the time. I grew up in a house where I had. Five brothers, four sisters, well, three sisters. It was nine of us. Mm -hmm. my, my mother and father had five boys, four girls. And Christmas was always a lot of laughter, a lot of people around, just a lot of good time. And that's what it was to me. It was. It, that was, was, a, lot was, of, it was a lot of good fun. And so there was a it whole was. lot of laughing. Somebody introduced a little bit of alcohol. Everybody, everybody contributed to the Oh, laughter. did it not? Yeah, everybody contributed to <laughs> the frivolity not? or whatever it is. Because my brother was trying his best to get Donald to drink, and Donald was just I like, had a shot. I know you, know, you had a shot, but just, you didn't have as much as everybody no, else. No. So it was pretty funny. And <laughs> the more drinks, the louder it got. The and louder I was just it got. like, I just can't do it. Yeah. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering where's Donald's family and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, I tell you, Donald grew up Jehovah Witness, yeah. so they did not celebrate the holiday. So you will never no. see us celebrating a holiday, a birthday, or anything with them. Mm -hmm. So that's why you didn't see anybody in his family, because he has a couple nephews mm -hmm. in town. And, you yeah. know, they, we just don't, they don't celebrate. So you can't yeah, wish exactly. that off on them. Well, Saturday, Donald had to take my car in to the repair, you know, to get it repaired from the accident. Mm -hmm. And then him and Tim went back and did that last load. Yeah. Right. And then I went shopping with my niece Chanel and her daughter. Mm -hmm. And we shopped a little bit. Like, I'm, I'm not Black Friday shopper. I never will be. Mm -hmm. But we went out there. We didn't see, I didn't see anything, so... We shopped a little bit, uh, then I met back up with Donald. He brought me home. Well, he brought me back. No, Saturday we stayed with the kids. Yeah. Saturday night we spent the night with the kids, and me and my son watched King Williams, King the Serena. Richard, yeah. yeah, King Richard. Mm -hmm. uh, we watched the Serena Williams story. Then we watched, uh, what else did we watch? Uh, the harder they fall the again. The harder they fall again because <laughs> yes. a lot of people didn't see it. So yeah. I was just really spending time bonding with my family. There That's what go. the holidays should exactly. be about. And so we had a good time and then it happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, what do you call it? The piece de resistance. The piece de resistance. Yes. What was that? The traffic getting home. I prompt, we love, we decided, you know, we're going to get an early start. So I went to bed we'll be, at like 6 p.m. on Saturday. Donald went to bed at 6. I stayed up talking to my children. Yes. Donald went to bed at 6. He came down at 9 to get some water to check on me or whatever else. And then he, so I'm still up like at 2 in the, because my son, he was like, Mama, I can't stay up no more. I'm going to bed. I said, go to bed. It's fine. So I'm just cleaning up a little bit, just frolicking around and then Donald comes down at 3 in the morning. It's like 2.30 in the morning. I come downstairs yeah. and, and I was like, so you have, have you been to sleep? She said, no, I just sleep in the car. And I was like, well, are you ready to go? She was like, yeah, we can go ahead and go. We wouldn't plan on leaving until like 5 or 6 in the morning. We end up leaving at 3 in the morning and I'm just thanking God that we did. Yes. Because we did not get back until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that was, was that 16 hours on the road? 16 hours. Four hours was sitting in traffic. The traffic was Horrendous. ridiculous. <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, there were many times where we could have just got out and walked and just went way <laughs> right, further right. along. But it was just nothing you can do about it. We should, we should yeah. just drove through towns, I guess. If I, if I had known, I would just took a left and just went through Augusta or something. But it might have been just as bad. Yeah. But yeah, just it was just but bad and accidents truth. everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so. We, Donald was like, you know we're stopping at Bucky's because I got to get that prime rib sandwich. Was it prime rib? It was, well, I was supposed to get the chopped block sandwich. When I tell you we got the Bucky's and there might have been 1,200 people inside that store. 
inside of a gas station type store. Now I said I was never gonna pass by Bucky's again, but I'm gonna amend that. I am <laughs> I am not gonna ever stop at a Bucky's on a Sunday in the middle of the day again. Yeah. I could not get I, got, I, I ended up getting a pulled pork sandwich, but I couldn't yeah. get the chopped block sandwich. And it was it was it was mediocre, maybe slightly better than mediocre. Yeah. So I can't Bucky's kind of fell off a little bit. Not their fault, but it was just way too many people. I have never seen anything like it. It well, was like Black I, Friday sale was in there or something. I told Donald, I was like, do you see all these cars? I, was, I say, you cannot pass. But I had to go inside for the restroom anyway. Yeah. But I was just like, do you see the number of people here? I was like, you're not going to get service. And I mean, they were working hard. The place was still clean. The bathrooms were clean. Everything. Yeah, they did a good job. But it's a great when place, I but tell you. It's too popular right now. Like, it had to be over 50 RVs in that parking lot. Yes. Park. And so you got to imagine all the families that were in the RVs besides the people who were in cars with their family getting by. And I'm just like, the traffic was horrible, you know, with the construction and, you know, diverting you off the road onto single roads and stuff like that. But we left, we left Missouri at 3 a.m. and we walked through the door here at... It was 8 p.m. 8 p.m. I mean, like within a minute of 8 p.m., yeah. honestly. So it might yeah. be 8.01 or something. Yeah, but. so we walked in the door at 8 and yeah, we were just glad to get home. So, you know, in those 16 hours though, like, we didn't really have to get off the road to rest because we were resting four hours on the road. Yeah. But anyway, fam, we just wanted to come on and just let you know how our Thanksgiving kind of went. <laughs> we, I hate yeah. that we didn't get more footage, but we just wanted to tell you about it. We thought about you guys the whole time. We kept saying, we should get some of this on on, on, on video and stuff. Then it was like, no, not this. Yeah, <laughs> because it was just a lot of negative. And I don't want us to have a negative channel. We try to stay as yeah. positive as possible. Negative things come up, but this weekend, even though we, like, we're not even sharing the half of it. But I just wanted to let you know that we had obstacles in our way. And I didn't want to bring a bad video. But even with the obstacles, it was still one of the best Thanksgiving games. It really was. Yeah. It really was. I, I, I felt like Peggy did way more work than I wanted her to, especially with her yeah. back situation. Yeah. But Peggy was not going to be stopped. It was going to yeah. happen, and she made it happen. Yeah. And everybody really enjoyed it. So we were thankful for that. Yes. I'm thankful for God getting us there and back yes. safely because yes. there was a lot of people who were, weren't so fortunate and stuff. So Yeah. It was just, I'm just very, very happy to be back here. And we can be sharing a lot more with you guys as we put our pantry together and try to yeah. get this house set up and stuff like that. Yes. So, family, thank you so much for thank listening to <laughs> our shenanigans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we appreciate you. We love you. We just want to let you know that we are still here. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do videos all last month. We did pretty good, though. And so this month... I don't know if we're going to do Vlogmas. Yeah. If not, we'll at least do the 12 days of Christmas. Okay. So we're going to put a, a good effort. We're going to put up a good effort there you go. to do as much as we can. But anyway, fam, we want to thank you for listening to our story time because this is a story this time. story time. So thank you for being here with us. We love you. We appreciate you. And we want you to remember to tell a friend, to tell a friend, share our videos. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. If you want to see anything for Vlogmas, let us know what you would like there to see go. in the comments because you guys have not been vocal like you used to be. Yeah. We need you to come on in and be vocal. Nice vocal. There you go. Let us know how your Thanksgiving went. Was yes. it was it was it the way you expected? Did it go the way you expected it to? <laughs> did it go better? Did it go worse? Or was it fun? something funny happened? Just yeah. try to share it with us and uh, with something we can talk we're about on read, our next live. On next live, we're gonna read every comment. I promise you, we're there gonna you go. read every. We comment. read every comment. We, we missed you guys so much. We really did. Yeah. Like I say, uh, just went in the cards. But thank you. We love you, and we'll see you in the next video. Right. So until the next time. Until the next video. Bye-bye, fam. Take it easy, fam. All righty.